Hey what's going on gamers, it's Mao and I'm gonna show you guys in my video how to unlock the special weapon and how to turn the music on in the Black Ops 3 the giant map. So first of all you have to tell, uh, link all three teleporters which is located on the right, left and back side of the maps and you have to open a bunch of doors so get some points if you're playing solo or if you're playing with friends or random parties just open a bunch of doors link all these teleporters you can link them back to mainframe and after you do that the pocket punch will open and we're gonna need a pocket punch gun for next step so I suggest you guys make a crawler and keep the zombies away from teleporters that way they don't die And after you pack a punch a gun, you want to go on the left side of the map and look behind a fence. There's going to be a box on one of those posts, which is on the left post. So you'll be able to shoot it with a pack a punch gun. And after you shoot it, you'll see that there's a bunch of perks going up in the air. Start circling. That means you actually got it, you activate it. So after that you have to go and find monkeys in the three random spots. So first spot you want to come to the left spot. Make sure you got, I can see the crowers. So okay. So he's going to be in here right in a corner. You can see right there. So you have to shoot him. And you will hear the voice is saying that you found one. So that's first step. Then you want to come right here in the open spot and you're going to look up on top of the balcony. It's going to be in the corner. It's hard to see, but you can shoot it in the corner. And you hear he's going to say, oh, you found another one. So that means you already found two. And the third one, you want to come in this room right here on the left spot. I mean, this is going to be on the right spot. And you have to jump, jump and shoot. And after you get all three of them, the special weapon will be unlocked. So you have to go downstairs and pick it up. And every member of the fire team can go and pick it up. So it's available for all players. So after you pick it up, you have to press L1 and R1 to activate it. And you get 18 bullets. And after you shoot all 18 bullets, it's going to go away and it's going to charge when you use the other weapons to kill zombies. And when it's fully charged, you can use it again. So next step, how to turn the music on. So you're gonna have to activate three jars, which is one on top of this shell, and one just across right here on the table. So press square and make sure you hear the sound. That means it activated. Then you have to go to the right side of the map in the back room to find another one. Sometimes this one glitches, so you have to shoot sometimes, and then press square and then it works. And after that you need three radios, one which, which is in the corner right here, the second one is in the back room, all the way in the back of the map, right here in the dark corner, hard to see but it's there, make sure you hear this sound when you activate it. And the third one, you have to go on the left side of the map, under the stairs, and it's going to be right here, right on top. So after you get all three of them, three jars and three radios, the music will start playing. And right now you'll hear the music in the background and I'm just going to do a small gameplay and use the special weapon to show you guys how powerful it is. It's one shot till round 20 and it's still one shot to the head till round 30. And after round 30 I was still using it, it was still pretty good to use so enjoy it guys and I hope my video helped you guys with the special weapon and don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment for more videos thanks for watching guys see ya